I have returned with some more tea to keep me going. Anyhow, actually, wait, no, not anyhow. I was doing a little bit of searching online for the thermos I use, because mine's getting a bit dinged up. I've been using it quite heavily throughout the years. And what I thought to be a 40 ounce container, uh, turned out to be a 64 ounce container. Now, the reason why this is startling is because I drink three of these a day, which roughly equates to 4.7 liters of tea. I alone am keeping the East India Company afloat. Oh my god, I need to cut back on my consumption of caffeine. Because while tea is greatly reduced, it's still, you know, pretty caffeinated. Uh, nice fire hydrant. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we last came into a world of color with the real world. Also, I am very interested to see if we go back to the dreamscape now, will Kel look like the Kel in the real world? Also, I am tempted to go back inside, though I don't think that is perhaps the correct move. Um, I did notice something while I was going to... How do I do this? Return uh, to the game when I was returning to the game. That we are currently level 1. Our name is different. I did notice that. We are outside. Oh, also, our currency is completely different. We no longer have clams, but we have dollar. Okay, well, we have $31 bills. Also, that indicates we live in the US. Huh. A for sale sign with a big red sold sticker on it. Your house has been sold. In three days, you will be moving somewhere else. Okay, I kind of figured that, but it is nice to have confirmation. A classy white mailbox. So this is just like an American suburb, white picket fence. Very, very, you know, American dream. A uh, look, Kel, I think we have the same priorities here. Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good- I just- I just want to pet your dog. I- 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 It's been a while since you come- mm. Okay, well, you got something going on at home, but I just want to pet your dog, man. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, he has like a little mustache and he's smiling. Beautiful. A classy white mailbox. Why do you have your basketball hoop set up in the street in the middle of the road? Why don't you do what every other suburban kid does and like set up on the side of your driveway? What are you doing? Look how fast the cars are going here. Oh my god, you're gonna get murdered, Kel. I've been hit by a car- Kel, you are- you- that truck just phased through you, I understand why you're not concerned. Okay, um, plastic flamingos decorate this yard. They seem to be in good spirits. I love plastic flamingos. They're so gaudy, but they're like- they cross over into the realm of being so corny they're good, right? <laughs> I don't know. And what appears to be- a rather religious household. Uh, that's a lot of men holding crosses. A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. Hmm. Okay, why? I mean, I guess... I, it feels a bit excessive, but you know. Most people don't really care. Okay, uh, are we allowed to actually cross? There's a stop sign. Why is the stop sign on the left side? This is America. Is it not right hand drive? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> a slight, slight inconsistency. Do we have a map here? No. Hmm. Okay, and... Far away park. Hmm. I'm trying to remember the name of like the weird park in our dreams. The future belongs to the dreamers. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, soda machines, a vending machine. I could buy. Perhaps who is the owner of that religious house? Preacher. I'm on my way to the church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to call my nerves. Okay, well, good luck with your ser sermon, sermon, sermon. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. Your skin is apparently flawless. Pretty boy. Life has been stressful lately, but people watching out here... But people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. 
I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Okay. Uh, oh, you guys are real. Wait. No, you have like a weird purple outline. Are you in my head? Yes. Huh. Oh, that's... I appear to be a little hallucinating boy. Oh, no. Okay, did I just kill them in my dreamscape? Is this a house? A large metal cat. You remember it being a lot bigger. Is that the house we entered before? Who are you? An artist is diligently sketching away. Whoa, that is a cool drawing of the park you had there. Oh, hi there. Thank you. Um, I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. If only it was that easy, Kel. <laughs> Don't you think so, Sonny? Yeah, sure, I'll encourage him. See, even Sonny agrees with me. Heck, I'd buy that from you right now. Hey, Sonny, can you lend me 20 bucks? Ha ha ha. Thanks. That's so nice of you, but it's now for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Aw, oh, darn, that's too bad. That would've looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? Mincy. My name's Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sonny. Hi, Kel and Sonny. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. Huh. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way, I don't believe that at all. You... <laughs> Why, Kel? I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to draw that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sunny believe in you. Huh. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll... I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Well, personally, for me, I always find the hardest part of any drawing to be... I'm not going to question the sky there, even this is the real world. Uh, you know, just to start the project. It's really hard to look at a blank piece of paper and then commit to something, right? Uh, is this a volunteer thing? Oh, hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Let's help the world one step at a time. And yes, that is my best old person impression. I thought you were going to try to sign us up for a petition. Uh, hello. I think I remember you in my dreams. There was one person who was constantly exercising, right? Apple guy. Huff. 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 Drink apple juice. Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. Well, one's much more concentrated in sugar. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and many su may support health. Heart health. It also may protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. I mean, sure. Uh, oh no, he's no. I don't. I. 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 You. You gave me your sales pitch. You don't have to repeat yourself. Ah. Uh, okay. Goodbye. Uh, you got trash. Now I'm apparently incredibly strong. An empty picnic basket. Would you like to save? Sure. Uh, here we go. And also, we are level one, which I guess makes sense because there's no levels in the real world. But you know. Olive Beanie. Oh, we're just describing you by your physical appearance. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle. I'm trying to remember my dreams. Or... Amori's? I guess I'm Amori in the dream and then Sunny in the real world. Why do I call my... Why do I have like a different mental name for myself in the real... Or the dream world? I don't think I've ever done that even in my dreams, have I? Hmm. But I can't find it anywhere. Funny how memory works, huh? Uh, hello, random old guy, or perhaps homeless guy. 
Oh, ho, ho. hello. Ha. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. Okay, have a nice day. Uh, let's see. Anything down? No. I'm trying to remember the... That is cute. The orange cat looks hungry. Feed it some fish. I have fish. You don't have any fish on you. One second, that cat was chilling somewhere else before, right? I don't remember it being up on the monkey bars, wasn't it here? Huh. Hello. The stench of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? No. You smell. You got trash. Uh, hopefully you weren't col- Hi, Illuminati agents. Didn't think we'd meet he- Huff. Huff. Oh, hey. What's up? Huff. What are you doing here, Kel? You around from- You're from- You from around this part of town? Oh, wow. I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you paid, played basketball, too. Eh. Huff. I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Kel? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely, that sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Sonny is here leaving town w My childhood friend Sonny here is leaving town in the next few days, so we're all hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up next week. Uh, same time next- same time, same place. Yep, sounds good, see you then. You're a little social butterfly, aren't you, Kel? Uh, what is up with you? Recycletist. We are recycletists, followers of the holy bin. As we all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay. We are recycletists, followers of the holy bin. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's good to know there's a cult even in the... I thought they were gonna disappear like a hallucination of mine. I was gonna comment how... It was odd they didn't have, like, the weird blue-purple outline that the non-real world has. You got trash. Hmm. Oh, wait, can I run? Yes, I can. Uh, hello, older lady. I did not catch your name. I have trash for you. Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash with you. I'll be sure to dispose of it properly. Here's four dollars to your help. Okay, one dollar for each little bin of trash. Okay, that's fair. Um, where am I going? <laughs> Cal, you didn't say where to get it. You said something about hobbies, right? Some trucks. Oh, hello. You are wearing a Yushanka. Come on, let's go to hobbies first. Well, I I, I want to talk. Ca space boyfriend? Or wait, space boy. Uh, a lovely fountain. Oh my god. You can see coins at the bottom. I guess I'm not going to take them. Short hair girl. I just made a wish. I just made a wish that I would one day meet my true love today. Uh, okay. Do you happen to like space pirates, who are perhaps imaginary, or is is that no, no? It's got like the weird blue outline. It has to be like a figment of my imagination. Oh. Well, here we are at hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here. But it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now, they're vintage. <laughs> Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now. Wait, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? What? <laughs> I mean, your intentions are good. No, that's a horrible lie. Okay, you're smarter in this world. <laughs> okay, thank God. Uh, you should help pick out the gift, Sonny. Let's look around and see what's here. Okay, so Captain Space Boy is like... <laughs> Captain Space Boy. He's like a, uh... I don't know, game figure or something. Uh, hello. Colorful girl. This place is kind of small, but has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. Hmm. Okay. Chock full of comics. 
Looking through these comments brings back so many memories. It's just like old times, huh, Sonny? Hero was never too interested in comics, though. Okay, that brings... Okay, let me exit the shop so I can think for a second. Oh, uh, yep, that is... Mm. A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. I was gonna say, how old are we? Cause like, we seem to be kids in our dreamscape, right? I guess we're like, young adults? That didn't seem to be the case. I think? Are we older? Uh, may mm. Cause th they definitely didn't like, talk like they were in college. And I don't think they mentioned- I need a- oh, I wanna go for like, the photo book. What made me think they were kids? Cause they're at a playground, they live in a cat house, like all of that, right? Hmm. I wonder if I have like, chock full of DVDs. A lot of these DVDs are catching dust. I'm sure we have most of these somewhere at home already. Probably, also catching dust. Though then again, Hero did always seem a bit older than everyone else, right? An interesting poster. Wow, the monster in the poster looks so realistic. I believe fighting that would be a tough battle. Will you challenge this monster to a battle? Yes. Uh... Huh. Okay, so I'm daydreaming. Attack skill, toy snack, first aid kit, and from other Mart Farms. Wait. Calm down, guard. Should I be daydreaming like Jackson? You, s you feel like you can't escape. Jackson takes 14. How much health do you have? You do not have a lot of health. Uh... Hmm. Don't kill me and- Why do you have a cat f why- why are you oohooing all of a sudden? Sonny was victorious. Uh... Hello? <laughs> sunny? Earth the Sunny? Whoa, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird. I wonder who hid it there. I guess we can just take it? You got a merry CD. Sure, okay. A poster for a new video game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. That sounds cool. Um, What's this? A game called Captain Space Boy's Space Adventure. It costs one dollar to play. Hey Sonny, let's go get a hero's gifts first. We can play later. I want to see where Captain Space Boy comes from. A poster for a new video game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. A vending machine. You know, if Hero's in college and he's kind of into cooking, you know I would, I would get someone of that age? <laughs> like, a high-quality rice cooker. Oh my god. <laughs> if, look, if you haven't tried cooking rice in a rice cooker, like a proper good one, like 80 bucks or more, it is incredible. It changes your whole life. You just eat rice for the rest. It, it's, it's great. <laughs> Oh my god, a lot of CDs are catching dust. I'm sure we have most of these somewhere in the home already. Probably also catching dust. DVDs. Okay, DVDs and CDs. Um, how about these figures? Oh. This. Yes. This is perfect. Papa's chip chip off. Papa's chips chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog... Hector destroyed it. Okay, so your dog became a pet rock, and then there's a pet rocks for sale here, which somehow became kind of like the this version, this world's version of Beanie Babies from the way he was talking about them being vintage. He's gonna be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question: How much does it cost? 20 bucks! This is sort. Didn't you want that for the drawing? I guess you valid artist time, huh? Shoot, I left my wallet at home. But, er, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I was gonna say yes, but like. <laughs> you took Hero's gift off the shelf. 
but I'm surprised that wasn't a choice. Uh, hey. Hey, shopkeep. <laughs> we would like to buy this cookbook, please. I love the fact that you just call it, like, a random <laughs> worker shopkeep. Kel, how you been, buddy? It's been a while since you come around, hasn't it? Ah, that's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's gift. Okay, thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hero will love this. A toy capsule machine. Try our luck for $3? No. I thought those were scans. A money machine. An old video game console system hooked up to a TV. Let's try Captain Space Boy's Adventure. It costs one dollar to play. Do you want to play the game? Yes. Yo, I see you have your eyes set on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It was more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive players today. People from all over town have tried it, but I'll have you know that I still hold a high score. <laughs> if you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. Don't ignite my competitive spirit, please. Push any key to start. Uh... Oh! <gasps> it's as fast as I could... I'm... not good at this game. <laughs> okay, dodge the bullets. I did not see the projectiles coming my way. Uh... I can't... Is this a power-up? I, I don't want the... Sh the shield is more... <laughs> More of a problem than a help, to be honest. How? What? What's your high score? Because hopefully it, it's not super high. Seven six. Ooh. The music is rather harsh on my ears. I'm not gonna lie. Can I move to the right? Oh, maybe I should have collected that thing. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait. Oh, and if you hold it down, it automatically fires, but it is not good. <laughs> it is very much not good to do that. Uh, what does blue lives mean? Does that mean I have one life? Oh my god, you sniped me. Okay, uh, good shot. I don't think I'm gonna win this. <laughs> no. no. Okay, what's the high score? I wanna know. You have to tell me what the high score is, what? Where's the score screen at the end? Like, if you give me a metric, I'll, I can aim to achieve it. Oh, no. How much money do I have? I have $13. I'm gonna go for a score of 10,000 at the very least and see if that's enough. Uh, <laughs> see ya. No, 9,175. Okay, I can do this. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, did I already beat it? Well, tickle me impressed. You actually beat my score. That wasn't that high. How long have you had this game? I guess I should make some room for the new generation, haha. <laughs> Here's your prize, as promised. I only give this out to people I think are really cool. You got cool glasses. Nice. I like your you flipping your little pompadour. Uh These are all you have. Oh. Even cooler when worn indoors. I they don't give any stats. Oh, that's funny. Do I actually get sunglasses on my face? Let me give them to Kel. It's kind of like a going away gift, right? I don't I'm not particularly interested in them, right? And you know, if this is the last time I'm gonna see my friend. Oh yeah, you actually do have- It is a Tamagotchi, actually! Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> so Hector is a Tamagotchi. Okay, well, I'm gonna equip cool glasses. Uh, maybe they'll hide my... Uh... Apparent apathy. Uh, is there anything else in here? No. Okay. Where are we going? So... Where did you want to go now, Sonny? I guess there's not really much to do around in the suburbs. Yeah... Oh, how about Far Away Park? Yeah, the park. We were just there. What? I, I want to check out the guy next to us. How about Gino's? It's a sandwich shop, right? No, it's a burger place. They sell... Maybe it's a... <laughs> we passed on the way here. 
That sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah, sure, I guess, man. <laughs> I want to talk to this guy. Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at Town Plaza for years, but now I think it's finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. How much do you want to donate? Uh, here's five bucks. Are you sure you want to donate five bucks to Guitar Guy? You don't actually have a guitar, but you know, whatever. You donated five bucks to Guitar Guy. Hmm. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play your original song. Oh. <laughs> the vocalization is absolutely adorable. I'll sit here for a while. Let's, let, let me enjoy the nice little tune. Your guitar sounds more like electric ukulele, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> oh, oh, it actually hasn't finished. Okay, is that another fake-out ending? You, where do you keep that? I'm not gonna think about it. Okay, Geno's. What's that Geno's? Ah, it's a pizza place. Are you Geno? Old Beardy. Aye, kiddos, you caught me on my break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good ten minutes, but I don't know I'm fussing so much. Whatever I get is sure to be good. <laughs> oh my god, are you supposed to be Pluto? Hmm. I bet you we can find, like, representations of each person in, like, the world, right? Hi, I'm Rai. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play a CD on the jukebox over there, I bet you I can tell you the artist for the track is. Why'd you do, like, a weird anime po- Okay, sure. An old jukebox. Do you want to donate your Mary CD to the jukebox? Yeah, sure, why not? I bet you inserted the Mary CD into Gino's jukebox. Do you want to play a song from a jukebox? What song do you want to play? Man, I'm not gonna lie, all the music in this game has been spectacular so far. I'm Rai. I know the song. This is the original song by Toby Fox. Oh! Huh. That's cool, actually. An arcade machine. It doesn't look like it's working. Wait, did I get Toby Fox to work on this game? Or did Toby Fox release, like, free music to use in other games? Or did he just compose a track for this game? Hmm. I know it's gonna sound like sacrilege, but I've actually... <laughs> I've never played Undertale. <laughs> oh, God. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier. But I just can't help myself when we live so close to delicious food like Gino's Pizza. Oh, mmm, pizza. How about you? Hello, hello. My name's Gino. I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't own this place. But they give me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool of them. Huh. Yeah, no, I've never actually played Undertale. Unfortunately, I, I tend to be rather late to games, and as careful as I am with getting spoiled for games, uh, the prevalence of Undertale in social media has kind of given away many aspects of the game, so I've kind of just never gotten around to it. Fix it, and funnily enough, the shop is very in heavy disrepair. Oh no, it's just the extension of the hardware store. Okay. Uh, this is so much deeper than I thought it would be. Okay, anything here? What happens if we go through here? Ooh. This is so lovely. Oh my god. I'm gonna... S Magic conch? You found a seashell. What a... Seashell seashell... Ugh. She sells seashore... Wait. Seashell... Seashell... Sea... She sells seashores by the seashells. Why you... Mm. <laughs> Look, I speak bad enough already. An elaborate fa flower arrangement. It comes off a bit pompous. Why? <laughs> it's not pompous. Flowers. 
potted bamboo stalks. At least that's what you think they are. Hmm. How about you guys? You guys didn't have the blue outline. That that's that's creepy. Flowers. Hey, did you see them? No, you didn't. These are all in my head, aren't they? Wheelbarrow thingy. Who were they? I didn't get a good look at them. One of them had black hair. Oh. I thought they were real, so I didn't bother focusing on them. Uh, hello. Gruff guy. Hey, stranger. How's your day been? My day's been going just great. Want to know why? Because today is the day that I finally am going to fix the leak in my house. My problems began a couple weeks ago. I found a really stubborn leak in the corner of my living room. How it got there, I don't know. It wasn't very noticeable at first, but then the leak has been slowly getting worse and worse every day. To tell you the truth, I've already gotten used to hearing the sound of dripping water and the feeling of a damp carpet. But you know what? Today's the day everything changes. Yes, I'm finally here at Fix It. My tools are ready and I'm... I'm going to fix it. Phew, sorry for ranting to you like that. This leak has been driving me mad without... This... <laughs> My house is right next to the church southwest of here. If you want to come by and watch this momentous occasion, please be my guest. Oh. Yeah, sure. Are you too real? Wait, are you me? Huh? Pigtail's lady. After all this time, we finally moved in together. It is so excited, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, this is the start of the rest of our lives. Now it's time to make our first important decision. What color should we paint our house's walls? The answer is always white. Look, just make it white. It works with everything. You can decorate however you want. It increases the resale value of the home. Just make it white. Hmm, I think anything would work. Just pick white. I like all the colors. Just pick white. <laughs> what do you think, Sean? I could go anyway, too. Don't worry about me. You can choose, Karen. What color would you like? Stop blowing kisses. <laughs> oh, Sean, you're too selfless. I don't need to pick a wall in color. I'd be happy with anything as long as I'm with you. Karen, if we keep doing this, we're going to be stuck here forever. Hmm, you're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? No, no, don't do that. Oh, that works. That way, the result will be completely impartial. Let's do it. Okay, that sounds good. Pick top left, please. Close your eyes, Karen. Wait, hold on. It's okay. You should be the one to do it, Sean. I insist. <laughs> no, Karen. It should definitely be you. What if I pick a color you don't like? Oh, we're not getting anything done here, are we? I have an idea. Let's get a stranger to help us. I've been listening to your conversation. Hey, you. Could you please help us out for a second? Please come here and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. No, I, 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 you cl no, don't close your eyes, just pick white. All your furniture will go with white. If you pick any other color, you might have to take into consideration what works with your walls, and you don't want to do that. You picked a floral wallpaper sample. Huh? What's this wallpaper here doing in the paint section? Hmm. It must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging it. What do you think, Karen? A wallpaper paper seems neat. I think this works just fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your help. I'm so sorry. We're both from around the area, but we just moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. We're thinking of having a housewarming party two days from now. It would be amazing if you can join two days from now. That seems a bit odd considering moving out, but you know, sure, why not? Uh, wait, is that... Are you moving into my house? Do we, I have a yellow roof? What'd you say about- Oh, whatever. Job. Yo, kid, I see you staring at the help wanted poster. I'm moving away in three days. You interested in a quick job? How quick? Yeah, sure. That's awesome, kid. I'll help you get started. Oh, you're taking this job, Sonny? In that case, I'll come back for- Wait, no, work hard. No, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it is a minigame. Alright, kid. Take a good look at these shelves behind you, and you'll probably notice that everything's a big jumbled mess. You'd think with a sign above the shelf it'd be obvious to where to put things, but people just don't give a crap these days. Huh. I hate working retail. Anyway, the sign above the shelf shows what product should be on display. Your job is to move everything back to its rightful place, got it? I'm done- I'm counting on you, kid. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm into that. I can do that. What do you want to pick up? 
Uh, wrench. What do you want? No. I want to put the wrench here. Yes. Uh, oh no. I'll be back later. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I've done it. <laughs> huh? You're finally done. Excellent work, kid. Here's 30 bucks. Don't spend it all in one place. You got 30 bucks for your hard work. How long has this been? Hey, Sonny, how'd you do? While you were working, I decided to play some basketball at the park. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go when you are. Wow, I'm sure you had a great time. Let me check out the rest of the store. Uh, smile, you're on camera. That's ominous. You're on camera. Cool, good to know. Assorted hardware stuff? A glass door that leads to nothing? What was up with the ghost people here? Why? Uh... See, here's... I'm kind of in a dilemma. Because sometimes... For certain games, I'm comfortable with going back and looking through the footage because... You know, there, the, certain games are like, you're meant to kind of do that, right? And like, you're supposed to be able to like, look back and then, you know just go back and retrieve that information but like for this one i've been conflicted because some cutscenes have been rather rapid fire and i'm certain that's like a on purpose right you're not supposed to be able to witness the whole thing super easily and i've been wanting to look at them but i knew i know that would i think that would t like ruin the narrative experience for me perhaps and i want to go as the developer intends uh fish market uh Meat market, a butcher, fish market, and a bakery. I don't think we need anything. Uh, why? Is this like a sweet shop? Oh! A cardboard cutout of the shop owner. Seems a bit much. You're... Hi, hi, it's me. The happy and cheery Miss Candice. What would you like? Smiley, smiley. I don't want anything. Please come again. Or else. <laughs> smiley, smiley, aren't you the sweetheart fan? Oh, are you real? Cute girl, welcome. We hope her candy makes you smile. I told you, curtsy. <laughs> it's smiley. <laughs> smiley. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, that might be sweetheart, right? That would explain- wait, no, wait. Sweetheart was also... Didn't they say something about it in the game shop? I can't remember. <laughs> Is my memory that bad? I can't run in here. All the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over and over again. Such a beautiful concept, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Frozen stuff, and lots of it. Okay, enjoy your, you know, use and- oh, it's a pharmacy. Hey, Kelly, you wanna buy some medicine? Is this the consultancy? You kids need anything for cuts or scratches? Um... How much is this? Five? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. What if I get, like, mugged? How many would I like? One. Yes. Okay, so do we have, like, a different sep- or uh, we have a separate level from real world, huh? I wonder if there's quests in the real world. Huh. Is there nothing I can do? That's a bit depressing. Uh, good luck with whatever you have, or whatever someone close to you has. Uh, wh what are, what's your deal? Fashionable mom. My son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. He and his friends are always picking up trash around town. Why is everyone so into hell flipping their hair? It's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. Why is everyone so melodramatic here? Like, I appreciate the flair, but at this point it's excessive. My husband keeps eating junk food. I know who your husband is. I need to make sure he has a healthy meal. Yeah. My mom and I are here buying healthy stuff at the other mart because she threw away all the snacks in her house yesterday. I think she's been on a health craze since my dad's only been eating junk food lately. Why can't we do both? I mean... Take care of your health, kid. <laughs> uh... One of these shopping carts is backwards. I want to fix this. Who put the shopping carts like this? What? No, there's multiple of them. <laughs> Can I move this one? 
Can I take a shopping cart? No. Uh, a recycling bin. Oh! Oh, the recycle cult- the recycultists are wearing recycling bins on her head. I get it. Wow, I did not pick up on that. <laughs> I thought they were wearing, like, actual cult masks. Oh, a penny. Nice. Is that an actual coin or is that money money? It's like a... Okay, there are some kids where with intense haircuts. Wait, don't go. Please. Wait, is that the kid who was headbutting people? Sorry, dude. I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. Is that Basil? This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait. Is that? That's Basil! I knew it. <laughs> Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Did you get off your scooter? <laughs> it's in grass. Oh, it's just Kel. Grumble, grumble. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you bother someone else, Kim? Psh! Well, aren't you acting high and mighty? You don't make all the rules around here. What's going on over there? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, you have very pink hair. I like how you had a cutscene to introduce yourself. I think you're the first person. Oh, hey, Aubrey. The nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Okay, so that's Aubrey? Let's show him what's next. What's what? Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Hmm. Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally the only other person in your sight line. Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Hmm. Whatever. Aubrey! Please. Listen, oh, did you take her- did you take his photo book? Hey, stop that. How old are- why are they riding on scooters in the park? Or bikes? Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ah, Sonny. Come on, we gotta do something. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you guys really picking a fight? I mean, I'm fine beating you up. <laughs> oh, if you're gonna pull- is, do you have a bat with nails? I see the little gray pixels in there. That's kind of fucked. Oh my god. The two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me. I'm gonna charge you for battery. Oh my god. I'll take on the both of you. You actually have a- mm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um... Let's just- yeah, just beat the shit out- do you have any skills? Encourage. Raises Sunny's attack. Yeah, sure, why not? Sunny's attack rose. Ooh. Takes 21 damage. Gah! What the? Is... Is that a knife? <laughs> you have a bat with nails in it. What, what are you complaining about? Oh my god, did I actually just stab her? <laughs> oh god. Oh shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're... you're hurt. I'm... I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. I mean, uh... I'll get you back for the... You brandish a bat with nails in it. That's pretty fun. You know what? You deserve that one. Right? Okay, maybe the knight stabbing you was a bit excessive, but... Whatever. <laughs> Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife or there or we would've... Wait a second. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. 
Why did I have my steak snake? Did I go to sleep with the knife after eating steak? Huh. Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. So uh, this is why you've been like quarreling in the dreams then. Maybe. Huh. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Uh, did they take your photo book? Hey Basil, how you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you've noticed, but Sonny is here too. Say hi, Sonny. Oh, hey Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh-huh. Woohoo! What a happy reunion! I just stabbed someone. <laughs> so did you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I probably should head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh, alright then. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's been a while since you followed me. I like the flower in your hair. That's cute. Anyhow, uh, um, weren't you guys gonna drop me off? Oh, yep, sorry. <laughs> I've already talked to them. Uh, let me save real quick. Um, okay, never mind. Which way do you live? <laughs> I'm not the real Sonny. Yeah, no, they're wearing the cycling bins on their head. Nope, I guess it's not this way. That road is closed. Hmm. Can I tag someone else in? No. I guess I'm... That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, Sonny, it's on the street that's diagonal from ours from the sidewalk. What? <laughs> diagonal from ours on the sidewalk. Why are you here? Okay, if I touch you, you're gonna disappear, right? Am I daydreaming or am I hallucinating? Cause one is okay, one is far more dangerous. Is that an actual cat? Is it real? I love cats. Meow. Aww. Wait, is that the cat in my dreams? Or the cat in like... I'm gonna memorize this pattern, but like, is that the cat that's... in the white area? That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, it's a street on... That's that. Can you just point me in the direction? I don't... Th this world is like... Oh, okay, so you don't live in a shoe. But you do live in a greenhouse, which explains all the flowers around them. Uh, there's Basil's house. We live in a world of, like, lateral directions. It's the one with the green roof. Yeah, explains all the flowers and such. Bye, Basil. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problem, Mo. If you ever need anything from us, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay, uh... Basil, next time Arby bullies you, just stab her. Oh, God. Oh, no. He's crying. Wait, please, don't go. Uh, I mean, I'm so sorry. You're having a rough time, too. You were, like, in my dreams, like, freaking out, weren't you? Not, like, to the appearance, but, like, in the intermittent cutscene when we saw... When we woke up, right, it was like a picture of you, me facing you, except there's like a ha hanging tendrils around you. I recall seeing that. Is that to like demonstrate that you're like starting to feel depressed or like not in a great mental state yourself? I actually have a favor to ask. Anything based on what you need. Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends... Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Ah, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album! Well, she won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sunny got you covered. I bet you she's in the pharmacy. Ah, okay. Thank you. Kel, give me back my knife. <laughs> we might need it. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. 
Bye, Basil. Come on, Sonny. There's no time to lose. We got a fo photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. I bet you're just in the pharmacy, right? And a bit of a worn down house. Knock, knock, knock. Is this the guy with the leak? No. There's a cat toy here, though. A yo-yo. Never mind. <laughs> a pail and shovel. Can I open your window? No. Toys here. A very brightly colored house. Can I knock? Knock, knock, knock. No. Oh, there's no response. <laughs> I'm gonna knock it. Oh, it's this guy. I bet you're fixing that. No, you're just artist. Or you. Hey, stranger. You're just in time to help cr critique my latest work in progress. Oh. Wow, you're very open to random people knocking in your- Oh, hey, it's the exact same stain that was in our house, I think. Dog? Hello, dog. Let me pet you. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> Lucas, quit your yap. He's just- He's just- <laughs> Would you like to pet the dog? Yes. You pet the dog. Bark, bark, bark. Don't you dare. The dog seems content. Okay. Look at the sketch for me. What do you think? The drawing looks- too stiff, doesn't it? No. Really? Hmm. I don't know. It looks a little stiff. You can just throw in some random lines in there and then try and make it work. Look at the sketch for me, what do you think? The drawing looks too stiff, doesn't it? Is that it? Hmm, really? I don't know, it looks a little stiff. Are you just gonna keep asking that until I say yes? A stuffed animal. It's seen better days. Oh, is that the dog's drool? I get it. What a cute detail, oh my god. <laughs> Lucas's dog bed. He seems to have out outgrown it a bit. Yeah, you should get him a bigger one. Are you just comfortable with me walking in your house? I like your paintings. A classical painting. It seems we have sunflowers. A classical painting. A classical painting. Okay, so like you're a traditional artist? Uh... Oh, I suppose you just- Can I look at myself in the mirror? No. I guess I'm only allowed to do that at my house. Do you really not care about me just rummaging through your house? A trading cards are scattered across the floor. A checkerboard. Uh, okay. A bunch of small figurines. The TV is still we weird in this world. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda expected that to be more normal, but you know. A bunch of small toy cars, at least in this world. A bed for one. A little on the soft side, but overall not bad. You would rate it a 7 out of 10. Yeah. I guess I've been laying in bed a lot, so I've been stuck in my house for three to four years. How... I guess I was probably... Well, I mean, I figured this, but I was in like a deep depression of some sort, right? In fact, I still am, judging from my kind of lack of... Well, apparent lack of emotion. An unfinished painting. Hmm. It seems to be of a person with blue hair. Nice. Also, a... Floor mat. I love sleeping on- why is there a plate above your- Oh, uh, You know what? I've done that before. <laughs> I like sleeping on the floor sometimes. Having like a hard floor, like, oh god, bedroll is nice for you. I don't know how to translate it, but- <laughs> Kurpa Cha! Uh, we use those to sleep on the floor in, in Central Asia, and it's absolutely fantastic. Anyhow, uh, I guess that was just a nice little side quest. I could have talked to the artist again, probably. Uh, Oh yeah, we're looking for clues about the notebook. And potentially it might kill Aubrey, but she did threaten us with a bat. Where do we live? Oh, that's what you meant by a diagonal. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have been too harsh on your direction giving. A lot of trash, let me clean all this up for them. You got trash, can I pick this up? Big bag of trash. Is this abandoned? Knock, knock, knock. There's no response. Or... Did I steal a stop sign? <laughs> a bunch of traffic signs and cones are littered in the front yard. I mean, I'll respect that, why not? Uh, a random pink house. Knock, knock, knock. There's no response. And if you think I'm not gonna knock on every door, I absolutely am. Oh, it's my house. Wait, are these... The, this is the house of the couple that's moving in. And... Some random people. Okay. All wearing the same uniform. Kind of marching. Knock, knock, knock. There's no response. Right? That That's the couple? I think. 
they're leaving this house. Hey, kids. You're here just in time to watch me fix this pipe once and for all. Come in, come in. I don't think we should, but sure. <laughs> oh, wow, that is a bad leak. Wow, that's not, that's not a leak. That's a torrential downpour, my man. God. How's your place not flooded? Give me a few more last minute adjustments and I can finally put this baby to You should shut off your main water valve before repairing any water damages. <laughs> Good enough, I guess. Ah, uh, the sweet sound of silence at last. <laughs> Rats, I guess I'll try again tomorrow. That's me. Here's Tim one dollar, kid. Go get yourself some candy or something. Can we fix it for him? Uh... A bunch of tools. Why do you have a hammer? <laughs> okay. You got some trash. You got some trash. I'm just cleaning up your place for you. Open the pot. Smells like mac and cheese. Nice. I'm gonna look around your house. Uh, you should also prepare your drywall. Uh, your clothes are strewn about. Uh, oh, you have some kids, apparently. Or two kids. They seem to uh, not be pre- You have multiple leaks. G get on your leak game, my man. Also, I saw a trap door in there. Uh, okay. Let's see. Can we go in this trap door in here? Why do you have a ladder in the hallway? A scale. You can't remember the last time you used one of these yourself. Okay. Hmm. Well, see ya. Good luck with your problem. <laughs> Let's go check out those weird group of four people. Oh, it's the church. Okay. That explains the similar uniform. They're all they're in their Sunday dress. Far away cemetery. Can we enter? No, we can't. Hmm. How about through here? Far away cemetery. Or maybe we can go in through the church, I suppose. Hmm, looks like they're setting up for a, cer a sermon. Sermon? Sermon. You really don't want to ch spend your last days here hanging out at church, do you? Uh, okay. I mean, I kind of want to check out the cemetery, but I don't know. How long have has my family lived here? I guess we'll find out. Uh, a classic white mailbox. Yeah. Anyway, what was I thinking about? That was, seemed to be important. Oh yeah, the whole depression thing. Yeah, so three to four years is quite heavy and explains why Kel was so surprised when he finally stepped outside, right? So I do wonder if, well, if obviously something happened three to four years ago, or, you know, maybe I just fell into a natural depression. That can happen sometimes. But three to four years. Okay, so my mother's been taking care of me, I'm guessing, right? Hey! Oh yeah, I'm looking for clues here. Also, someone's in this tree. I saw it shake. Is it supposed to be boss? Hmm. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. No, know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil and we needed to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? <laughs> Is that Kim? No. Who, what, where, why, now? What did you do that for? Ah, if it isn't Kel and that weird knife guy, where are the adversaries for the great and mighty angel? Finally, it is time for you to meet your- I will stab you. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know, but first you must best me in battle. Battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. I do? You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's sick him, Charlie. <laughs> oh my god, Charlie's such a big lad. Uh, stab. <laughs> stab. Oh, you just threw your ball at him. I have a feeling we should take down Charlie first, right? He deals one damage. Oh my god, he's not... L l let's focus on Charlie, big man Charlie. <laughs> oh, he's also wearing... 
Oh my god, like a Charlie shirt, except it's purple instead of yellow. Also, why are you sad now, Kill? Hmm. Uh, can I calm down... Kel? No. I guess I can only con Oh, I guess I can't hurt you. Did I hit you, Charlie, or did I just completely forget about that? <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I actually... You surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Yeah, I mean, she's using a baseball bat with nails in it, man. That's... You think that's a fair fight against anyone? I suppose. Also, I, I read teleports, but like, I don't think Sniff, you, you'll pay for this, Charlie. Look, Charlie, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. You... <laughs> okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town, probably. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around or else... I told you I'd tell you what I know, and the truth is I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. Huh? What, what? What? You can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The Maverick? Oh no, you mean that weird kid Michael? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So, it, it is him. Where can I find Mikael, or the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me for it, can we not? <laughs> bah! Okay, fine. I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was gonna meet some girls there for a date or something. Ah, uh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny, let's go to faraway plaza. I think we're done here. Uh, can I talk to you guys, the lads, again? Teacher went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. You said he was going to meet there. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> well, Charlie, you're the strong and silent type, aren't you? Um, I can go donate some more of my trash, I gather. How much have I gotten? Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash. Yep. Here's seven dollars. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, it's a good way to clean up trash, I suppose. I have 40 bucks now. Damn. How long had did I spend cleaning that Home Depot or whatever? been quite a bit. And then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick, you're so funny. Oh, what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please, there's enough of me to go around. Michael, what are you doing? Ah. If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. You're finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Michael. I like the anime. <laughs> We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Michael, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me. I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. He's about to get one hit, isn't he? Please, Michael, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. Uh, are we really gonna do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny. Let's take him down. I mean, it's a... <laughs> oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance. I, I feel like a 2v1 is a bit unfair. You should fight him yourself, Kel. Uh, anyway, well, let's see what happens. Oh, you love 14. Why is everyone focusing on Kel? How much... How much health do you have? I thought... Uh, honestly, I thought it would be a joke fight, but... Oh, wow! You're actually quite a bit... Mmm. I didn't expect that. Um... Yeah, sure, just encourage him. Should we fight him? <laughs> I feel like he's kicking our ass. 
He takes 27 damage. Was it worth doing that? Is that like a permanent buff? Can I just keep stacking that? I mean, I want to see if I can use... Yeah, let me heal him up and then let me encourage Sunny. We'll see if it like permanently increases it. And if not, I suppose it's just worth... Oh, Sunny's attack can't go any higher. Okay, I guess we are bound by the physical limitations of being in a... Uh, I was gonna say like... Pre-Pubus and Boy's Body? Hmm. Not bad. But this fight's just getting started. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like what age we are too. So like, we seem to be mentally younger in our dreams. Kel feels angry. I mean, that's probably helpful actually. He takes 45. As expected my rival, but I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. <sighs> Is that all you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. <laughs> sure. He he's just continuing the same attacks. I love it. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. Uh, oh, it's only huh, a matter of time before you tie yourself out. My victory is imminent. I want to... Take a look at his face when I hit him. Behold, he like flint, he, he like drops his smile a little bit. Oh, that's cool. Huff, I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. He takes 26. Huff, huff, no, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. It's a 2v1, man, what did you expect? <laughs> But he starts making fun of Kel. He feels even angrier. He takes 52. Huff, huff, huff. <laughs> we huff, huff. <sighs> Gah, no. I won't let it end like this. Do you have a second health bar? No, you're... I guess you're human. No. It can't be over for me. People of Earth. What? Lend me your strength. Are you trying to do a Goku? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> 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 What's with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten dollars. Let me get out of. Oh, he was paying them. That is. That's sad, man. Ladies, please come back. I have more money. Ah. Uh. Did you, did you try to have a wig? Oh my god, that's funny. Michael. There's no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is and I'll tell you. On one condition. Ah, uh, you must call me by my true name, the Mav- Okay, forget it. <laughs> Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so I have a hunch they're probably somewhere around near Candy. Ah, my exploration has come in handy. Wow, that boy with the blonde wig is so cool. I wish I had his confidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, guy. I'm still working towards earning enough money. Yeah, sure, here's 10 bucks. How much do you want to donate? Are you sure you don't want to donate 10 bucks? Yeah, you've donated 15. I'm getting closer and closer on my ticket. Thank you. In return, I'll play your original song. Is it going to be the same song? Yes, it is. Okay, well. Anyhow, uh, I was going to say Captain Spaceboy has disappeared from the roof. So I guess that one was a figment of um, our imagination and not a sign. Uh, I'm going to rudely leave before you finish your song. I'm very sorry. Oh, wait, wait, we haven't talked to the banana guy. Let me, let me out. Huff, 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 huff. Drink orange juice. Have you ever heard the phrase? Orange is the happiest color? No, never in my life, actually. No? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. It has vitamin C, which is essential for healthy immune system functions. Yeah, but you only need, like, a minuscule amount of vitamin C. The rest you just pee out. It's a water-soluble vitamin. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. Would you like to buy some orange juice for two bucks? Yeah, sure. You got orange juice. Thanks, man. Yeah, yes, drink orange juice. You'll enjoy it. 
Uh, here's 10 more bucks. Hey, it's you guys again. I'm still working on earning. Yeah, 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 here's 10 bucks. Anything will help. How much money do you need? Because I have a feeling it's going to be a lot more than $25. I'm almost there. Just a little more and I can leave for the city. Thank you. I, I, I've heard your song. I like the finger tapping. You should do some more finger tapping <laughs> at the very start. Or, like, use it as a drum beat, you know? Anyhow, uh, candy. Are you still being creepy? No, you're gone? Oh, no, they're down there. Hmm. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. They're... Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance, let's shove it all in her pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd, Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. How old is Vance? He has, like, a beard, right? Oh, hold it there, I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd, you don't know me. Hey, hold on, I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. She's probably in, like, the medical wing. I stabbed her, Cal. Uh, I've had enough of this to for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all the candy. Why are you, like, with a middle-aged man stealing candy? Or is he just with a goatee? I thought you weren't a snitch. And I don't need you to, to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again. I thought I told you to never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you, kids. Smiley, smiley. How old are we? We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. And this kid has a beard. He has a goatee. Come on, Lance. Let's get out of this dump. Is that not a goatee? Am I going crazy? Is that markered on? Haha, <laughs> serves you right. Hey, we didn't get all the information we needed, Kel. Wait. How we find where Aubrey is now? Ah, uh, come on, Sonny, let's follow them. Can I- I'm just gonna go to the... wing over here, you know? Hold on a sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. What? Yeah, did you just buy some candy? Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch... Up to Kim and Vance. Okay, they're, they bought candy to bribe them. I understand. Good thinking, Kel. Anyhow. Yeah, so Kel seems to be much more mentally mature. Oh, oddly enough, not. Okay. <laughs> How deep did I stab her? Or did I just, like, slightly scratch her with the knife? <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, what was I thinking about? Yeah, how old are we? That guy 100% has a goatee. So, like, they have to be high schoolers, right? Grumble, grumble. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No, not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. Why? <laughs> I right, let's just go home. We're going to be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I will give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? Wait, you can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. <laughs> Can you at least tell us if he has any taffy in there? Oh god, I want some saltwater taffy now. I have some... I'm gonna buy some. <sighs> Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay, I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Ha, <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw, man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait. Please, Kim, you're the only lead we got. Please take the big bag of candy. We, we even have taffy in here. Did someone say taffy? I see. That changes everything. <laughs> Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fit. Uh, what? If I win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. Wait, other way around. But if you win, you'll get. We can just accept the deal, and then it works out for both of us, right? And you'll never talk to us again ever. 
wait a sec, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. But I want to fight. <laughs> Come on, put him up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Uh, what is with you two in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. How old is... <laughs> he has a goatee, his smoke... Oh wait, no, that's probably a lollipop. Okay. I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Okay, we have to be in like high school, I think. And then heroes in college, because he seems slightly older as in the dream. So we're definitely younger in the dream, I think. This is weird. <laughs> I can't tell. Maybe like... This game just has a weird perception of age, perhaps. Kim's phone rang. It was a num wrong number. What? Oh my god. Why are they only aiming for you? <laughs> um, I'll have the first gate. I, I should probably buy some more of these, but we'll, we'll find out. That was really effective. It takes 37 to... Your face annoys me. Ken grabs Kel's... Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay. I have a feeling if we just beat up Kim, Vance will give up, right? He seemed much more interested in the candy. Grumble, grumble. You're still nerds. Oh, nope. Vance scratches his belly. Okay, Sunny attacks. He deals 10. Okay. We now enter the space where I just spam the A button and hope to win. Vance said mean things about Kel. Kel feels sad. Yeah... Also, I did notice, I, well, I just noticed something. We haven't gained any experience. Ouch, that hurts. But I'm gonna guess that's because there's no such thing as experience in the real world, right? Hmm. I have a feeling there's some, like, deeper philosophical meaning behind all these fights and, like, actions. And just, like, some basic stuff that I'm barely scratching the surface level and it's driving me insane. I have to know. He kills attack with. You could just attack with your fist, you don't have to use the ball. Oh, our juice is real, though. That is... Huh. Okay. Also, this guy is tough. Oh my god, I, I should have... Dang, all I wanted was some tap. We could... Oh, oh, there we go. Grumble, grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <sighs> I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim, we gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot, let's get out of here. Where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's dead. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Oh, that's surprising. Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asks who told us, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Michael or something. Come on, Kim, we gotta scoot. You know how my mom how mom gets when we're late? Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Let's go. Smell ya later, nerds. Okay. Well, we're gonna go purchase some more health kits, and then we're gonna head to the church. Ah, oh, nuts. They took the big bat of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two had got some sticky fingers. Oh well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I believe it when I see it. Okay, we're back to re normal reality. Uh, we can't run in here, which I suppose makes sense. You know, can't really run in supermarkets, but I would love to. Hello. Yes, I need multiple first aid kits. How much does the bandage heal? Ah, whatever. Let's just go all in on this. I'll tip you 15 bucks, right? I don't have a feeling Kel's not gonna let me stab Aubrey again, right? So... I'm just gonna be prepared for a prolonged fight with multiple people. <laughs> Anyhow... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna guess... Michael, you don't have to hold that pose for that long. Anyway... <laughs> I kind of flashbang my thoughts. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Anyhow, I wanna go south. I wanna... Go to the church and then... Ah, uh, Michael, Michael has ruined everything. <laughs> it wasn't here? No, it was more south, right? Yeah, oh, I was gonna talk about, like, Aubrey and her pink hair. So, I'm fairly certain that perhaps the dreamscape is 
more of like a mental image of us when we we're younger, perhaps? In terms of like, what's it called? How old we were, right? Well, here we are. Like, when we were friends, I think. This is really the last place I would expect her. We can see her bike here, too. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door to take a peek. Hmm, looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a ceremony. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm, she's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the cer- cer-, cer mm. How do I not know how this word is pronounced? I've never heard it out loud, I think. Is over or something. Oh. Okay. How do I do that? <laughs> Hold on, Sonny. Let's wait here until this- Okay, how do I wait? Uh... Aubrey's old blue bike. Far away cemetery. How do we... Options? No. Skills? I don't think that's it. Calm. Pocket. Do we just have to wait? I mean, I'm fine with just waiting. How long do we wait? I'm quite patient. Or do we try the door? Do you want to go into the church? Yeah. Is that it? You said something about waiting. Whoa, I didn't expect you just to walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we just have to be really quiet. Oh, that that's so cute. The walking is slow. Let's not talk to anyone. Let's just sit down next to Aubrey. <laughs> There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. There she is on the right. Let's just walk to the pew behind her. There she... Oh no. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that that family of four is not real. Oh, maybe, okay, but never mind. I thought, I was gonna say, if I turn around and I have, like, the weird little hair spike on the back, I was gonna say, that might be... No. Hmm. They're completely in black and white. No, they're not. Is that supposed to be our family? Like, that'd be our father, our mother, me on the right, I think, and then maybe Mari? I think Mari said she was our sister, right? How, can, how do we sit? Or do we, like, just talk to her behind? Aubrey. Psst. Aubrey. What the? What the heck are you trying guys doing in here? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that. That's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mari would be really here, sad to hear that. <sighs> really? You really want to bring Mari in? Okay, so there is something with Mari. Who cares what Mari thinks? Oh. Mari's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get you to have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends... My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about. Oh wait, you said that calmly. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. So, okay, that's the... Okay, we're in the dream. We're definitely, like, looking back on our memories in the past because Mari's there. That also explains why she's so weird and, like, why... Why... <coughs> why Basil freaked out. Oh! Oh, actually... Okay, so I've been depressed because my sister died, right? 
So it's been three to four years. And then that explains why we couldn't go in that one room in the house. And like, why was her, like, maybe that was her room. Oh, okay. That puts a lot into perspective. And why she was like omnipresent in the dream world. You think it's all so simple? You've always been so, you've been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be this simple than, li yeah, I feel like he's fairly smart. He's matured. How could you do that to me? You know how important this photo album is to him? It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you could just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? The photo album belongs to Basil. I'm not going to leave it until you agree to give it back. <sighs> You're so persistent. When Mari died, you move on so fast. You know why I came here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening to me. We haven't talked in four years, Cal. A lot changes in four years. Okay, I'm gonna stop whispering. You and Sunny think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do. Don't be so naive. You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. Hmm. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend, she's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when you lost when we lost Mari. No. I won't accept this. I just yell, wait, and everyone's coming to- Oh, never mind, okay. Uh, completely cross out the, that theory about that being us. <laughs> That's just a random family attending church. Wait, where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you'll give Basil his photo- I can't let you go until you promise you'll give F Basil his photo album back, you thief. What's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bullying, now she's stealing as well? Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? I'm the big bad bull- You threatened us with a- I guess I did stab you. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around and- You, you cannot- you have, like, I have a knife, right, that has utility other than just being a weapon. A spiked bat does not. <laughs> Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You're the one who barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. Yeah, like, what the fuck? If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. Yeah. Okay, there's a little bit of a hypocrisy here. Oh my god, uh, Kel, I forgot you were quite low on life. The music, though, I'm a big fan of it. <gasps> Wait a minute! Mm. Look, look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. Oh, is that people whispering in the background? Okay. Um... Huh. Yeah, let's encourage Sonny. And then... Kel head... Oh, God. Okay, your headbutt still deals real damage. I can't believe she would bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Yeah. Oh, should I... I have a feeling I'm not supposed to win this fight. Give us... Give me the knife, Kel. We're gonna be... Okay, let's maybe not stab her childhood friend to death. Why are you here? Jesus... What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep healing you. Keep attacking. Sunny uses first aid kit. Sunny tends to Kel. Kel recovers 150. Aubrey takes 45. Oh! Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? Where is my mom, actually? Right? If we're moving away in three days, shouldn't we be preparing? Where's my father? Uh, why? Why now? I mean, you could just explain your situation, though. Then again, I guess that wasn't really a place to. 
That girl is a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. Okay. <laughs> Kel's attack whiffed. Uh, Kel blacked out. I always thought she would be trouble. The pastor should have kicked her out a long time ago. God. <laughs> Aubrey spits on your shoe. She didn't even attack me. Ugh. Forget it. You two are worth my, worth my time. Ah, uh, ever since her father left, she's been uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. I, I feel bad, like she is just a kid, and like all these people are war- uh, Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah. Anyway, hey, Pastor. Uh, sorry I ruined your ceremony that you're preparing for. Hmm. I usually won't condone fighting in the middle of a ceremony, but that seemed really important. That girl Aubrey has come here every week for the past few years, but never talks to anyone. I tried to approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me her bad things. She seems very troubled. Perhaps she can use a friend. Oh, okay. Can I play the piano? A grand piano. I did have sheet music in my dream at the very end. Who are you guys? Our family comes to church once a week. Sometimes twice, sometimes thrice. Oh dear. Sniff. It looks like our youngest son didn't show up to church again. Uh, Michael, <laughs> where are you? Why must you make your mother worry? Oh dear. Sniff. Looks like you're okay. Michael, where are you? Why must you make your mother worry? Why did they focus on them when we passed them? I just want to spend my day off in peace. How about you guys? It's about time that girl ran off now. Maybe all my friends will come back to church again. Okay, you're, you're quite mean. I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge you. <laughs> that sounds like you're judging me. <laughs> Where are your manners off brawling or about like that? You should be ashamed. <laughs> sure. Anyhow. No. I guess it's evening now, huh? Anyhow. Uh, I think I'm gonna save here for now. If I can find a picnic basket, though. They seem to be a bit more sparse in the real world, which I suppose makes sense. Though it is a bit odd. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, that's her house. Oh, you threw away the photo album? Is that what happened? Did you do it in front of us on purpose? Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we look through this trash can. But on the bright side, we at least have Basil's photo album now, and it only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Do you want a high five, Cal? Sure, man. I, I don't want to refuse him. That, that you can't leave someone hanging. Let's get this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. I have a feeling he has more underlying problems than just the photo album, right? Can I take a look at this? Yes, I can. I'm glad I didn't immediately give it away. Oh, I play violin. Oh, I remember. In the dream, in like the dreamscape before the, when we entered the barn in like the weird area where I was alone, there was something about a gift, and then there was a wrapped present which seemed like a guitar at the time, but I guess it was a violin. Okay, so that was a gift to us. Oh, and these are gonna be like the real versions of the photos and stuff, like our weird altered memories. I think I remember something like this, though I don't remember it exactly. Wait, let's go back. Me playing on a Game Boy. Uh, Kel arm wrestling hero. And then he clearly lost. Oh wait, we can read. Oof, sorry Kel. 
Better luck next time. Oh, let's read, read all <laughs> My first photo. It's my best friend Sonny, trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again, so he, hopefully he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting. Huh. Just Kel being Kel. So many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back in the, from the park, but Kel is so full, still full of energy. He challenged Hiro to arm wrestling match, but we all know he's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hiro. <laughs> Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks annoyed. Ah, uh, brother. Oh, they're brothers. Okay. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this when I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so, so many, and they're all so stuff. Oh, I bet you that's the ins- Oh, it's- uh, I remember that- the one, the white one. It's the nose guy from the, uh, like, the playground in the dream. I bet you we can find all of the equivalent. And yeah, it's the headphone guy we saw in the park. Oh, I wish I can just lay here forever. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower clowns. Here is Sonny and Kel showing, holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mara, Mari thought so too. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. So this is probably Mari, right? No, Aubrey. Okay, yeah. Ask me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. And I guess that's why she dyed her hair pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says how he likes how the rain tastes. And just Kel being Kel again. He went to ho hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally got May time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was furious with him. They're very dramatically different from the ones in the dreamscape. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange Joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. We haven't seen a single picture of Mari, have we? <laughs> oh my god. Incredible. We buried Sonny in the sand. It took forever, but it looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need our help getting it. That is cute. <laughs> I guess I'll keep him company until then. Yay, Sonny's turning 12 today. Even though, Son Even though me, Sonny, and Aubrey are in the same school year, Sonny is a younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Okay, so... I'm gonna guess our, like mental world we're like 12 in right and then it's been four years so we're currently 16 i understand got it high school that's a big present sunny's holding a super huge present for mari and hero and that's a present in the dreams i wonder what it is it's the cat you can't really tell from the photo but mari oh mari and hero got sunny a giant building block set sunny seems much more interested in the box though very cat-like. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Mau Ma Wow. Where's the cat? Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. <laughs> I guess this box will be Sunny and Mau Wow's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. This one was in the dream, I remember that. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are bright, up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Sigh, goodbye summer, until next year. Yeah, there wasn't a... 
I bet. Oh. I want to read. I want to read the empty spaces. I bet you all the photos with Mari have been taken out. Okay. I understand a bit more now. Um. Hopefully there is a picnic basket near... Okay, we're just gonna keep on going. <laughs> is there a picnic basket somewhere? Uh, you know what, let's just give this a basil, why not? <laughs> One last little task. Hopefully. <laughs> hey, it's a cat! You will climb... No, that's a different cat. Knock, knock. No, that is the cat from the playground. Knock, knock. Basil, it's your friends, Kel and Sunny. How are you feeling? Oh, is that the grandma? Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. Polly. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. Wh what is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow. Thank you. You gave Basil his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny. Free dinner. That explains where I'm gonna get food. Oh my- I was worried about my situation lacking food at home. I love how many plan- I made- ah. Uh, please make yourself at home. I made a commitment during Hollow Knight. I think it was during episode... 3 or- It was Hornets and Horticulture, I remember that. To keep more plants around my place. And I, I actually have committed hard, quite hard to that. Uh, I have a lot more, like, succulents. Uh, some of them aren't doing super fantastic, I'll admit, but I have been, they haven't died, which is a plus for me. Please make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely had a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I, I like them a lot. Actually, there are some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. He's a lot better than me at this. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo album back, we can go through all the photos together. Uh, that's, um, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Oh, come on, it'll be fun. Um, sure. Okay. I just... <laughs> Did you not pay attention? Here it is. I, I, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. <gasps> yeah. Are you done looking at the photo album? Yes. Oh man, it looks like a lot of photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was, haha. -ha. I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year I'll finally be the taller brother, haha. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sunny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. I don't think she has the photos, perhaps. Maybe Basil's, like, kept them hidden, because he doesn't seem... He seems rather heavily affected, right? How long has it been since we've seen him? Has he also been homestuck? Okay, thank you. I'll try. Hmm. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you like to boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my older brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please, follow me. The kitchen is this way. <laughs> okay. Basil, you seem to be quite important in my dreams. What? Oh, hi, Sunny. Aren't we best friends? Uh, no more to say? It's nice to finally see you again, haha. -ha. Why are you staring at me like that? Um, Sunny, is everything okay? Um, Sunny, is everything okay? Am I staring at you like I'm staring at you in the dream where you're surrounded by tendrils? Anyhow, we'll have to figure that out next time. It's maybe it's a bit of a longer episode, but you know, I don't mind. Anyhow, would you like to save? Yes. And I'm still level one, yes? Absolutely. Anyhow, uh, have a fantastic night, everyone. I am going to go drink 
the rest of this tea. Goodbye. <laughs>